more moist in the future? We've got to find some way to wake him up so he can explain what's going on. He died too soon, I'm assuming. How are we going to wake him up? You must figure out how to do it eventually, Sam. He was awake in the future. Well, that's going to be pretty clever of me. I wonder how I end up doing it. Looks like Skunk Ape is about 300,000 miles overdue for an oil and filter change. Step aside, ladies! Big winner coming through! Congratulations. Hey, pal, we want to ask you... I've been listening to suits like you for too long already. You can dig your own tunnels now. Why was I enjoying all expenses paid off-world vacation? So long, suckers! <laughs> And that is why we're doing a staycation this year. It's locked. Whee! It's empty. No, that'd be a waste of bullets. In a better world, aliens and Earthlings would be able to unite under our shared love of really cool guns. Whee! How do you suppose we bring our alien brain friend back to life? I'm sure you'll figure out something eventually. I don't have that kind of patience, little buddy. What do you want, Sam? It's not like I can see the fu- Oh, wait. Do you remember the what to do in case of alien invasion checklist, little buddy? Oh, I know this! One, interrogate the alien leader. Two, liberate any horrific experimental creatures trapped on their spaceship. And? Oh, three, trick them into believing that cat litter is the official Earth currency. Then sit back and watch hilarity ensue. Good work, Max. These psychic powers of yours are pretty neat. I guess. It's just too bad I didn't have him on prom night. Cheer up, pal. Just think of all the destruction you can cause at the class reunion. I hope they finish the repair work on our building soon. I miss taking showers. We could just give ourselves tongue baths like cats and flight attendants do. Well, okay, I guess. Just be careful around the back of my neck. That's where I'm most prone to tie rash. It feels good to be on a case again. Now, is it really a case if we don't have a client and no one's paying us? The client is Justice, Max, and Justice is blind and frugal. I sure hope the planet doesn't fall for General Skunk Ape's plan, whatever it is. Well, he is pretty charismatic, Sam. And he's from space, which is a plus. But you're the only hairy, overweight, domineering control freak I need, Sam. Gee, thanks, Max. I think. I wonder what it'd be like to live on another planet. Probably a lot like this one, but bouncier and more methane rich. I don't need to go to another planet for a methane rich environment as long as I've got you, pal. That's really sweet and obvious, Sam. Sybil sent us a postcard. She and the giant stone head of Abraham Lincoln are still on their extended honeymoon. And you said their marriage wouldn't last. Actually, I said it was a violation of the laws of nature and most major religions. I'm surprised and disappointed that you managed to stay president this long. Yeah, that sudden unexplained outbreak of bubonic plague really brought the nation together for my re-election. That reminds me, where's Jimmy Two Teeth and all his rat pals? Damnedest thing! They suddenly came into a lot of money from an anonymous benefactor. Keep watching the skies, Max. I'll shoot if they try anything funny!
You did it, Sam and Max. You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths. How did you do it? Well, that's encouraging. So, uh, how did we do it? I don't know. We haven't done it yet. I know. What if you use that future vision on me? You did it, Sam and Max! You awakened me from the sleep of 100 deaths! How did you do it? Easy peasy. All it took was Stinky's demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Well, you heard the mean little buddy. We've got to find some demon broth and Mama Bosco's futuristic power core. Congratulations. I never drink when I'm on a case. No, that'd be a waste of bullets. never realize how disgusting a dried out alien brain looks until you see it in person. It's locked. No, that'd be a waste of bullets. It's empty. No, that'd be a waste of bullets. <laughs> 